What's well, going on guys, so they're going to show you how to paint on terrain. So this works a little bit differently depending on like a uh, mesh using vertex color because painting on terrain has its own little system that allows you to do it. So if you come into your landscape editor here and you go to, you'll be in sculpt, if you go to paint, you'll have nothing you'll be able to paint at the moment. So we need to make a material for it. So we right click in our content browser and we call this terrain uh, material. We can then select the terrain, so make sure the terrain is selected, and drag that into our landscape material here. So let's go into this. So the first thing we need to add is a landscape layer blend. So this is what will allow us to blend between more than one material. So we want to add an element to this. And we'll add two. I'll we'll call the first one grass. And the second one dirt. So I'm just going to show you with really, really basic materials how to do this. So if I hold free and left click, I'm going to put in two free constances. I'm going to connect that up to our base. And if I make that green, oh, and we make that brown, which is always hard to get. There you go. That's sort of a brown. We'll already have our two values. And then you can, I believe, just copy this and put in some values that represent the roughness. So if we want the grass, to be at like a 0.7 roughness we want the dirt to be at like a like one roughness we want the grass we want the dirt to be very rough so if we could apply that will apply itself to the terrain but you can in here just start putting in like a grass texture and a dirt texture i'm just showing a very basic way of sort of getting this done so if we come back in to here let me minimize this we'll see this is very shiny because when you connect up your roughness comes out very shiny right now the target layer is missing so let me quickly come into here and I didn't change anything but it says apply but let me disconnect my roughness there quick when that finishes I should have two values yeah okay so let me plug that back in sometimes I find when having an actual roughness layer blend in it sometimes doesn't actually bring up the two values here so as you can see, these two values are what we named it before, and they come up as two separate materials. So I can't actually do anything right now because it's combining shaders. Now I'll edit this out in the video. Okay. So now this is working, we can select our grass and dirt. So if we come here and click plus, we can say weight blend normal. Because if we go to click now, we'll get an error saying that we need one. So sometimes it glitches, there you go. So click the weight blended normal. Or layer normal and go to content and name it whatever you want I usually just name it what it is because it's usually got a good name and I'm gonna save them both in this content so if I click one of them I should be able to paint on the material if I click that I should be able to paint that and when you start trying to add a new material it will compile the shaders again all right so now I should be able to just paint on which one I want and that's just two basic colors. You can, like I said, just actually do really nice texture for this. I'm just showing the basics and how to set it up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped. And bye-bye.